there! So today we are going to be recording my finale to my project pan. What? It's already been three months of using these products here. Now this was a project where I got um, nearly, if not, a full face of makeup products that had already been either halfway used or maybe I had already hit pan on them and I just wanted to push it a little bit further and go ahead and just use it all the way up. That way I could just get them out of my collection and if I needed or wanted to repurchase them, I could. Now the span of this project pan was a total of three months. So I had the intro and then a month and a half later I had the update and then now we have the finale. So if you want to go ahead and watch those back before I get into these, it would probably make a little more sense. I'm just going to go ahead and list off the ones that I had already finished in that um, halfway mark. So let's go ahead and start with that. Now the products I already had used up in that halfway mark were the IT Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream and then the Tarte um, Shape Tape. How could I forget that name? The Tarte Shape Tape. Use that bad boy up. It took forever by the way. And this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Used that up. The Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray, done. And then this Buxom Lip Gloss in the color White Russian. Very proud. I had already, you know, used those up within the month and a half mark, just as I said. So now I will go ahead and list off the products that I was so close to being done by that halfway mark, but hadn't finished up yet. So I'm happy to report that I finished off quite a bit of those. So first we will start off with the Too Faced Primed and Peach Primer. Now this one, um, during that halfway mark, I had mentioned that I couldn't um, pump it down any longer. Nothing would be coming out of the pump. So what I did was I cut it open and I honestly had, I wanna say maybe two, two and a half weeks worth of primer stuck in there so like I said in the last video do open your um, containers you know and just use up that last little bit especially if it's this good guys I already miss this primer um, I'm combo oily skin so I, I tend to really like mattifying primers and this one really smelled nice and it didn't irritate my skin so it was kind of best of both worlds I have super sensitive skin and a lot of times when something smells really nice it's probably going to break me out. But either way, this is all used up as you can see here. Yay! So I had cut it open like I said. This was the deluxe size. Um, they do sell it in the deluxe size as well as a full size obviously. Um, but I think when I do repurchase this after I get through a few more primers, uh, I would just, you know, buy up the deluxe size. That way I don't have a a full one even though I love it there might be something else that I will learn to love later if that makes sense so that is finished up as of this finale now next when I left you last this uh, wet and wild foundation was right about here I know that line is just coming off there so it was right there when I left you last and I have used this up I am not sure it looks really disgusting but as you can see there is a lot of nothing in there I I literally just scraped the sides of it. I really liked this foundation. Now, I don't know if I'll repurchase it right away because I think that it was so close to going bad. So I was happy to have finished it up before it actually went bad. It started towards the end kind of smelling, um, I don't want to say off, but just not the same. I guess that's off, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, it started smelling a little bit weird towards the end, so I'm glad I used it up. I have tons of other foundations, so I'm not going to put this at the top of my list, but I think in the future I would repurchase it because it's a really nice foundation and it gives really great coverage. So next up we have this Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles, and this, the last time I was, let's see, I was right there on that line, so I was so close to using it using it up and finally uh it's gone <laughs> so i started using it um as an eye primer an eyeshadow primer and i really liked it that way because it was thin but it still offered coverage and i think for the simple fact that this packaging is absolutely disgusting i don't you know that kind of really deters me from purchasing it again and I don't love it for under the eyes because it's so thin. I feel like it just, it seeps into like my fine lines really quickly. Um, and I don't know, 
know, I just have other concealers that I really like a lot more and I don't need to purchase this one specifically to use as an eye primer. Does that make sense? I don't know. I'm not going to say I'll never repurchase it again, but I'm not running out to the store and missing it at night. You know what I'm saying? So that's done. I am glad it is done. All right. So next we have a Maybelline Fit Me Set and Smooth Powder, and this was in the shade 110. In the last update, I had shown you that I had to repress it so that the product would be in the middle, and now it is all gone. Oh yeah. I really, really absolutely loved this powder for um, for setting my under eye. I thought it was bright enough for my fair skin and it didn't look cakey even on those days where I like packed it on unintentionally or intentionally. But I really loved it and I actually do really miss it. Like right now I'm using or I'm trying the Essence Banana Powder under eye setting whatnot and um, I like it but I still really liked the smoothness that this um, powder gave me underneath my eye, like it was baby butt soft. It was really nice. So I know for a fact that eventually, probably pretty soon, I will repurchase it. And I do like the, um, the Fit Me Loose setting powder as well. So Maybelline is just doing it right with the powders. Next up we have here is the It's Cosmetics uh, Universal Brow Power Pencil. I had to say that really slow because I messed that up a few times. Anyway, so we started here. The last update, we were right here, and I am happy to report that it is all gone. So I think you can see that okay. But if I click it up, um, you know, I can't use the pencil any longer. It just scrapes against my skin. But I thought this was a really nice pencil. The... The pigment was quite hard, so I felt like I it kind of pulled out my hairs a little bit when I used it. So for that reason, you know, I'm not gonna go out. I'm not gonna go out and purchase this. I think it's twenty one dollar pencil. I could be wrong, but it's it's not drugstore price. That's where I'm getting at. It was nice. I got it in my boxy charm. Happy that I got it in my boxy charm. Extremely happy that I used it up. But I know that I won't be repurchasing it. Okay. So now this one is super exciting, for me anyway. So this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, and this was the first palette that I ever bought for myself. Like, I went to Sephora, didn't know what the heck I was looking for, but I saw this one. It was, I think, $30, which compared to, like, 50 60 upwards of that kind of palettes that can be in Sephora. This was like, okay, this is a cute starter palette. Anyway, no regrets because ABH is amazing and they know what they're doing when it comes to eyeshadows. <laughs> so for this project, I picked three colors um, that two I wanted to use up completely and then one I just wanted to um, kind of see how much more pan I could get on the product. All right, so we'll start with the ones that I finished up. I will insert a picture here so you can see the progress and where I left you off last, if that makes sense. So Dusty Rose and Orange You Fancy are completely done. So that was here and then here. And then this one, this brown shade, it's uh, Baby I'm a Star. I hit just the tiniest, the teensiest, tiniest, little bit more of pan. So I'm really proud of that. Let me show you again. So that way I can put a picture up so you can see the progress on this shade right here. So just the tiniest bit of progress, but I'm still really happy about it. Um, I would use that shade for, um, you know, topping my liner. It, it was really pretty because it has a, some glitter particles in it, and I don't feel that it fell down into my eye, but when I wore it all over the lid, maybe I just packed on too much, but I felt like it, little pieces would fall off my face. It wasn't a huge deal or whatever. So anyway, um, I was trying to think of other shades that I might possibly want in this palette and the only one that I can think of is this anaconda shade it's a really beautiful you know like forest green type of shade and it has this golden shift to it and it does have shimmer in it just like the baby I'm a star shade so what I'm thinking here is that since this palette is so old I don't care to use up any of the other shades. I know what you're thinking. This yellow is really beautiful, but it doesn't come off like that on the eye unless you truly pack it on. And so I think what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to depot Anaconda and Baby I'm a Star and then just use those up. Um, and I think I will be really satisfied with that and I will feel like I have gotten my money's worth. And like I said, I mean, this this palette is so old, it should have been thrown away technically, but whatever. And I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to depot those two colors and then I'm going to call it a day. But I'm very proud that I was able to use up those um, other two shadows because shadows are so hard to use up in general. I'm proud of myself. Yay. All right. So next up, we have um, this Urban Decay. Oh my gosh, it's not even written on here anymore. So this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And this was in the shade Demolition. And so I sharpened it for the very last time. And you can see that little, like, I think it's like a little plastic part. I don't know. Anyway, it just popped out. So I used that bad boy up. This was so good, you guys. I really like Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide-On pencils, so I know if I ever need um, like a brown or any other color, like I have a purple one and a black one and, uh, in this formula. I'm super excited I still have some. You know, during the holidays, Urban Decay is really known for coming out with like eyeliner sets and whatnot, so I think that I'll wait until then to get more of these, um, but like I have a Marc Jacobs brown eyeliner that I should use up before that goes bad so I'm gonna hold off on repurchasing but hot dog these are really good eyeliners and they stay put where you put them a lot of the times I would um use this as a base for a shadow and it was beautiful it didn't crease or anything I absolutely love these I'll stop talking about the eyeliner all right next up is this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I told you that I had just opened it at the start of this three month project pan and that I would just keep this for three months just as it is um, recommended you know for sanitary purposes. So there is still a little bit more product in here but I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Very happy with this. It is a really good mascara for volume. Um, I used a different like a Maybelline, it's actually right here. I used in conjunction with this one, the Maybelline Great Lash, this one to separate and then this one for volume. I loved these two together. Um, I do have another one that BoxyCharm sent of this Better Than Sex mascara, so that's really cool. Um, I don't know if I'll ever purchase um, a high-end mascara at full price because I'm cheap, but this was really nice. That is all I have to say about that. I think this one was the most rewarding because this one, I really had to work for this one, man. So this is the CoverGirl, um, I, for, I always forget the like the long title of this, but it'll be in the description box below, um, just as everything else here will be. Um, but this is in the shade 260 Heavenly. And all right, so let me show you this and I'll put a picture beside here so you can see kind of where we started. So we started here, last update, we were right here and uh, this feels good, but this is done guys. Holy moly, I have no, I have no want or need to like dig in there or whatnot. I, I'm good. I'm completely satisfied. I mean, this is what, like a six, seven, eight dollar lipstick. It was really nice. I felt like when I used it consistently, it would dry out my lips. And I do have another shade in this formula that I'm probably going to declutter for that reason. I have really dry lips anyway, and this didn't help me at all. Still really beautiful, you know, it was, um, it felt moisturizing, but that was just a bluff, I guess. <laughs> but uh, the color was absolutely beautiful. I loved mixing this with, you know, um, I would put this on and put kind of like a nudie gloss on top of it. Absolutely loved the shade of this. Formula, didn't absolutely love. I liked it, obviously enough to use it up, Super satisfied. This, it's, I'm telling you, I had to work the hardest at this project, at, at this product, excuse me. And I think for that reason, it is the most satisfying. So I'm so happy, so happy to get you out of my life. So happy. So this is a product that I technically hit my goal on and it was just to kind of um, make the blush look used. This is the Tarte blush in the shade Mindful. And this was from a big book of blush I want to say number three and it has been the only big book of blush they they release this every year it's literally as you would imagine it's a big book of blush <laughs> and I don't think I'll ever do that again guys it was fun once I can say that I did it 
but I won't ever buy a big book of blush again because you definitely do not need that much blush in your life and I'm actually decluttering quite a few of them just because I know that realistically I can't use those all up. So someone else will love on them. I kept a few because I really do love the formula of Tarte blushes. Anywho, I will go ahead and put a picture up here of what it looks like at the beginning. I had still used it a few times before this project, but it didn't even look like I had ever touched it before. So it does look a little bit more used up. You can barely see the tart at the bottom. Um, obviously you can tell where I put my brush at, but I am very happy with the progress on this. I have to admit during this last like week, week and a half, I just put it away because I didn't want to see it again. <laughs> I think because I'm just an impatient person like that and because I couldn't see the progress immediately, I just got really impatient. That's bad on me, but anyway, I'm still really happy that I used it up. This ain't going anywhere. I'm gonna keep it in my collection. It was a beautiful, beautiful blush, or is a beautiful blush. And I am glad that I put it in this project just to give it, you know, some use. And now we will go ahead and talk about this Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. And this is in the original formula. So when we started, we were here at the top line and then the halfway mark, we were pretty much at the halfway point. And then now we're down to here. So I know I could have used this up if I wanted, but I found that a lot of, it's weird because a lot of Urban Decay liquid products tend to give me irritation. Um, like the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation, I would put that on my face and honest to goodness, like it would make me wheezy. And so I remember buying it and having to take it back. And I love their eyeshadows and I don't feel like they give me that same irritation, but uh, the concealer does the same thing. Um, it's, it's really weird. Anyway, so for the longest time I thought that this did the same thing. Um, and I find that it, if I kept using it every single day, then yeah, my eyes would be sensitive. Like they would be a little bit itchy um, towards the corners and then my eyes would water so badly. And worse is that um, this would kind of cake up and then it would dry and then it would flake off. It was a hot mess. And so I'm surprised that I even got this far. I'm satisfied with it. I actually had a huge um, tube of this, like a really large, nearly a bucket of this. <laughs> I'm, I'm being sarcastic, but um, I actually decluttered it because I like it. It doesn't like me. Um, and there's no need for me to force myself to use something. Like I need that, I need to get that out of my head. I'm trying to get better, but I need to get it out of my head that I have to use something up just because I spent the money because the money's already spent, done. You know, it's gone. But um, I will, I think I'm just gonna toss this one. It's older than I want to admit. So I will go ahead and declutter this. Still happy with my progress, didn't finish it up. That's okay, life goes on. All right, so this here is the Estee Edit Barris Bronzer. And I remember saying in my last video that I, I honestly wasn't getting tired of it and I still haven't gotten tired of it. Um, You know, um, there were days that I would try other products just because they were new in my collection, but I feel like I really made tons of progress with this. And so my intention is to actually um, repress this that way the product is in the middle because towards the end it was getting kind of hard to use it up and I, to, I would have to like get a smaller brush to dig in the sides but it's really um I don't know if you can see it but it's really thin around the edge so I'm pretty close to um, actually using this up and I'm so excited about that um, this is a really beautiful bronzer um, they actually don't sell it anymore. This whole line is discontinued, the Estee Edit line. So I'm still really excited to use this. I think I'll put it away for a second just so I can uh, kind of, let, let's take a little break and um, I will bring it back out and I know that I will use this up probably by the end of the year to be honest. So that's really awesome. All right, so lastly we have a highlighter. So this is Vintage um, Cosmetics and then this I actually did repress because it was getting um, kind of really hard to use. So I'll go ahead and put insert a picture here so that way you can see where I started, where I was at the halfway mark, and then where I am now. So I'll show you here, it's a really thin amount of product that I just spread out, so that's why it's nearly covering the entire thing. This highlighter is really beautiful. Um, I wouldn't say that I love this highlighter, but I liked it enough 
to use it every day and then towards the end I got a little bored of it but that can happen a lot in project pans especially you know if you're trying to use something up and not just hit pan on it so I think I'll put this away for a second and then bring it back you know if the sparks don't fly then then I'll declutter it or even throw that away and then kind of just depot this uh, second shade so either way, I am happy to have used up as much as I did. All right, so that about wraps it up, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to my first project pan on my YouTube channel. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more of these because these are the videos that I absolutely love to watch, especially when I'm like itching to buy something. I will go ahead and watch anti-hauls and project pans. That way I can, uh, you know, kind of put things into perspective. And I think it's helped me so, so much in my buying habits, you know, especially with blushes. I can't remember the last time I bought like a single blush. Okay, I buy face palettes like crazy, but I mean, give, give me a break here, all right? Anyway, it puts into perspective how long things take to use up. And then it definitely gives you an idea of what kind of products you like, you know, like the concealer. I don't like thin concealers. I really like to pack on the coverage because I don't get a lot of sleep. But, um, you know, it kind of just teaches you what you like and what you don't like. And that's important when you're spending money on such expensive products and even when they're not expensive stuff adds up do you know what i mean so anyway thank you for tuning in thank you for your time i hope you're having an amazing day and if anything you know go ahead and watch some other videos on my channel if you're bored subscribe i don't know keep it in mind either way be kind and stay awesome and i will see you in the next one bye